What's happening, fam? LA Y'all Movement Still Moving. This video is going to be called A Gynocratic Mindset. Delusional. A Gynocratic Delusional Mindset. Listen. So I'm looking at a clip on Paris Milan's page about um, mothers coddling their boys and being on their daughters. Shout out to Paris Milan too. She's been, she's, she keep doing your thing. And I listened to a young lady um, getting a, in two with another young lady on another channel, listening to another a live stream. And I don't really talk much about matriarchy or, or, or gynocracy or nothing like that. But what I'm seeing is over and over again, shout out to Kevin Samuels because it pops up on this channel all the time also. When you have these women with these, they've been raised by women predominantly or, or solely, and they've been raised by women predominantly and solely, and then they have these ideologies that are so far left of reality that they think it makes sense. Like, take for instance, you know, we have to, we, we have to work twice as hard as who? See, what winds up happening is there are mothers who used to tell their sons, you, you need to work twice as hard to get half as much as, as white society. And fathers told their sons that too. So now when mothers uh, are basically single mothers, now they're telling their daughters, you have to work twice as hard to get half as much as men. And now that's including black men. And this is what I mean by it's delusional. So you're telling the daughters they got to do what the sons do. <sighs> doesn't make sense. Because that's not, that doesn't work out in reality. Why am I saying this? Because the sons have to do things in and out of an air-conditioned environment, twice as hard, to be twice as good and work twice as hard. But the ladies don't think about that. This mindset where, you know, your sexuality is empowerment, and at the same time, you have to work twice as hard. So you can work twice as hard to, to be on the same level or get half as much as the men, but you can... but. You can empower yourself with your sexuality, which is something that men can't do. But, you know, that split, it looks very delusional. Now, add to that that mothers, quote unquote, people say mothers coddle their boys and raise their daughters. And if you reverse it, if you actually have a, tr a regular traditional household, guess what happens? You can also say fathers coddle their daughters and raise their sons. That's what you normally see. So if you're married in the household or if you got a man and a woman on the same page, that's what normally happens. Right? But when you have these people who are just... Um, dug in on the fact that, you know what, I can be the mother and the father, this part of the, the, the mentality just skips their brain. Then you got to bring into it that, you know, the, I'm acting this way because of the media and how the media portrays me and the media makes me feel. And then it's like, wait. If you believe you're in competition with men, if you believe that you know men are the enemy, right, or, 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 or men are your adversaries, what does TV have to do with it? See, men can't say, um, "I got 
first, if I got to be better than this other guy, I have to be better than him across the board. Because I know as far as the system works, they're going to cheat in some way to favor it for a guy who's not better than me because of, you know, race and caste and class, right? But I'm not going to say... It's the, t it's the media promotion. No, we're on the same, we're in the same spot at the same time. I'm not going to feel any kind of, feel less than because of television. You know, it's just not going to happen. I'm saying I'm, but I'm saying men in general. And this mindset where you got a person, who, a woman who's, trying to run things, and it doesn't add up because it's only from a female point of view. And what I mean by gynocratic delusional mindset is this. You're ra if a woman is, if women and women are raising children to interact with the world like women would, whether they're men male or female, then you're delusional because the, the world, as far as all the industries that, you know, how can I say, all the structures of society are male dominated or, or, or male created and uh, um, um, for the most part, majority male maintained. So when you, you're giving generations of children a female mindset, entering a male world in, in the fields that they're going in, expecting that they're going to think like women, like the world is going to think like women. Like when people say the world doesn't owe you understanding, the world doesn't owe uh, gynocratic mindsets understanding. The world works on, you know, results. Did you get it done? And, and, and ironically, nobody cares about the, uh, the adversity of the results, to be perfectly honest. You know, they know they exist, but can you get it done or can you not get it done? Now, when it comes to race and gender, race, gender, class can give you a longer leash than others in, in particular uh, scenarios. But that's what that actually is. But this idea that, you know, the boys can do absolutely nothing and the girls can do, have to do absolutely everything is so far-fetched and delusional because at the end of the day, you, you're saying, you have women actually saying and believing this while actually depending on men or in all, or in a sense of, what was that, like the, the Madam C.J. Walker type of idea. And the reason I'm saying Madam C.J. Walker is because a lot of women deal in beauty, right? And, where do, and a lot of the women who deal in beauty, or, or, or it, they're getting that money subsidized from a man somewhere. So even the whole beauty industry, it, it falters when there's not a guy there to actually... Um, sub give women give women money or or pay for women to do things that so they save money so they can spend more money on beauty. It's a it's a luxury leisurely type of endeavor. And when it comes to something that has nothing to do with beauty, then you kind of see the taper off of 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 um, skill set. You know, in a in, in willingness to have a skill set outside of beauty, and the reason why I bring it up is because what winds up happening, even in these spaces with with the men, you know, this is when being fly and being sexy and being beautiful as a guy come into play because that's that's gonna work with women all across the board because now you got women wanting to quote unquote be men and in men's positions, and the irony of that is I was looking at something about. Polygamy, is it polyamory or something like that? And a young lady was upset, like, you know, I built, you know, what do I bring to the table? I bring the whole table. Well, if you want to be in a relationship where a woman can have multiple men, you're going to have to be a breadwinner just like a man 
who wants a polygamous relationship. So guess what? You know, you you, you can't have multiple men and multiple, <laughs> you know, because women practice polygamy also financially or polyamory the same way. But now, if if you want equality, you're gonna have to pay the cost to be the boss, and not, you know, siphon this and that from this person and that person. So, like this gynocratic, delusional mindset it thinks that you can have it both ways, and you can. It's double minded, and you can't see society pro properly if you're double minded on one end in the first place. But also, you know, you're dismissive of what other people do because you can't you can't see it through that other lens because you think your way is the only way that actually is worth anything. And that's not true. Uh, I'm going to leave it right here. I hope y'all got what I was saying. Like, share, subscribe. Catch you on the next one. Peace.